I am just a huge fan of public libraries as uh, so much more than just a place where uh, people get, uh, get books, but a place where people can gather with their children, um, where they can uh, use the, the new technologies and learn about the new technologies. Um, here in the in, in the library, and also I'm a huge fan of librarians who have always been great defenders of the the right to read anything you want. First Amendment advocates, um, especially through uh, some difficult times when we really needed uh, people to be fighting in favor of the the First Amendment. Um, I too believe that libraries are really a, a cornerstone of. A good community, and it, and I think the statistics show that when people move into a community, that the two things that they check the most on are, are are there quality schools and is there a quality library. So um, I think that you know the, the facility that you have here and the offerings that you um, give to the community uh, represent that that quality, and that's why Niles is um, such a such a great place to to live and work. This is a very special occasion, and we at the Village of Niles feel very special to be invited and to be a part of this. Uh, the trustees and I, I speak for the trustees also, love the library that is across the street from us, but it's 50 years old now. Congratulations to the library president and board, the library uh, manager, director, and all the supervisors and also to all the employees of the library. There's a certain timeless quality about the public library. And what we have here today is a staff who are dedicated and they work tirelessly to provide what the needs of the community are. And, and I think that that's, um, and I use that word tirelessly because I know it's, it's a very busy library. When you have 45,000 people come through in a month, that's a lot of activity. Okay, I would like to propose this toast, not only to the library, but as one of the statistics uh, Mayor Palero said was that uh, 48,000 people came through the door in one month and 117,000 items were taken out. So I think without the library staff, the library wouldn't be what it is today. And I'd like to uh, present a very special guest, direct from 1959, the Niles Public Library's very first librarian, Miss Jean Fox. Jean Fox is a Canadian, and she came to the Niles Library more than, with more than 12 years of experience. She's worked at libraries in Maryland, Oregon, Nebraska, England. She worked at DePaul University. The girl obviously couldn't give a job. But, and then she came to be the very first public library at our Niles Public Library. I'm very delighted to welcome Miss Jean Fox. Well, it is just so lovely to be here. Thank you for inviting me to your beautiful library. It's, it's huge. And, and maybe one of you later can explain to me what those typewriter thingies that are attached to the televisions are. <laughs> because we, we never had that. Um, and, and, and just one little comment, not to be negative, but it's very noisy. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Well, Jean, you know, it has been 50 years, and things certainly have changed here. Well, I do hope that we do continue to instill the love of literature, and that we, we provide service to our community. Well, Jean, you know what? I thought you might be concerned about that. So I invited one of our young librarians to join us to provide some insight. Ladies and gentlemen, Music, please. this is Niles Library's answer to Gwen Stefani, Miss Darlene Fox. <laughs> She has an MLS from the Dominican University, and her interests are concerts, traveling, reading, cats, and tats. <laughs> Hi, Jean. So nice to meet you. I wonder if maybe we're related, other than our love of the Niles Public Library? Well, I, I don't think so, but <laughs> she's a librarian. <laughs> okay. And she has cats just like you, 
Jean. I do. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you, I have seven cats. Of course you do. <laughs> pleasantries out of the way, let's get down to sharing with our audience a typical day in the life of a Niles public librarian. 1959 versus 2009, the throwdown! Hello, hello Miss Fox speaking. Hello, I'm looking for articles, books, anything on Good Mythology. I have a report to tomorrow. Oh, we have such lovely books on Greek mythology. Um, it will take me about an hour to pull them together, and um, we close at dark, so make sure you get over here quickly, um, and I'll bring a nice, strong young boy to help you carry them home, dear. <laughs> well, let's see what I can find here for you. Um, it looks like there's a couple really good websites that I can email to you, and you can access our online databases and ebooks at any time, so you don't even need to come into the library. Oh, boy. Well, um, I guess today's online technology is a bit more convenient. Well, should we try another scenario? Hello, Hello Miss Fox speaking. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Niles. You got the job, that's great. Well, your resume certainly wound up looking impressive, I'm not surprised. Those interview books I gave you must have really helped. That's what we're here for, Mr. Mr. Niles. Good, Good luck, luck on your, your new, new position. position. Wow. I guess at the end of the day, the Niles librarian's most important skill is the ability to help our community enrich their lives no matter what decade it is. Thanks, Jean. Thanks, Darlene, for showing us that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Aww. To our Ms. Foxes, thank you very much.